welcome back to Fast Freddy RC, and today I want to talk 114th scale. More specifically, I want to talk about the 114th scale semi trailers. Even more specifically, I want to talk about the 114th scale semi trailers that Tamiya produces, and more, even more specifically, I want to talk about the 114th scale semi trailers that Tamiya produces for the North American marketplace. And, even more specifically, I want to talk about the 114 scale semi-trailers that Tamiya produces for the North American marketplace that are actually on this channel. <laughs> so, we're gonna, we're, we'll just start. Now, I have to say this first one that I want to show you means a great deal to me. This is the flatbed trailer that Tamiya produces. And when I started this channel, it was back in March of 2020. And it was just, you know, during the whole COVID thing, I was looking for something to do. I really felt like I wanted to build a, a 114th scale something. I ended up uh, deciding to build the flatbed trailer. I built it. I think uh, a month later, I maybe I made a video of an unboxing video of the um, MFC unit for the, the actual rig, and I stopped. And I don't even think I made another video for this channel for another year. But, and I got, I was, because I got busy, right? Like things were happening, I, I, I ended up moving on. I, I started the channel, didn't do a lot with it. Well. I went and took a look at the channel at one point and discovered that this video alone had almost 8,000 views. And all of a sudden my eyes kind of like, what? So I actually have this trailer to thank for this channel. Because if it wasn't for this, if it wasn't for all of you and all of your support and all the views you gave that video, I don't know if I would have continued on. And if you want to see what I did with this, um, I did a tips and tricks build. It's here. and. I didn't do a full build series because back then I didn't really know what I wanted to do with this. I, I basically finished it and then did a review of what I discovered with the build. So you can see that up, up here. Um, and I had an absolute blast. Like this trailer was so much fun to build and you can see that I've, I've got the, the mud flaps and everything in, the lights. It, and I just love these uh, semis. Because growing up, uh, I would be heading down the five and Cal down to California from Canada uh, on the interstate. Semis were uh, obviously, they ran the road down there. And so it was just so cool to be able to build one. And I've still got our semi. I've got the uh, Tamiya Cascadia. You may have seen it in other videos. I just haven't got to it. There are so many things about it that I absolutely love, but there's lots of things that I, I don't. And it's more to do with just the finicky time and the wiring and everything else. Like I've, I'm, it's in the middle. I promise it will come to the channel because I want to be able to pull these things, but I just haven't got there yet. Anyway, when I had started the channel, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with the videos, and I've got better at, at you know, deciding what needs to go out, how to showcase it, what do I want to do with it. But this was the one that started it all, and. On the back side, and I'm sure those things might pop out, I don't know if you can see it, but I actually also have the full light kit uh, that I've wired into this. So this trailer really is ready to go, and there goes our wheel chucks. This trailer really is ready to go, and the other chuck is, oh, still in there. This trailer is really ready to go and to be pulled. Um, but anyways, so there's trailer one. Now here is the Tamiya pole trailer. Because the thing is, after I built this trailer, I enjoyed doing this so much because a lot of this is metal parts. I mean, this trailer is quite heavy. This, even though it looks quite small, is incredibly heavy because it's all metal uh, inside. Even the pole is aluminum. Um, there, so there's a, there's a lot of weight to this. Um, I haven't put in any kind of lighting kit onto this one but I did do a build video of this trailer, which you can find here. But again, this was just so cool, where this, you can see, this is your typical hitch that would sit on the back of the semi, and then there's a pintle hitch that would attach this trailer to the back end of the semi truck as well. And then of course there's the poles, and I, I haven't brought those out, there's, they're huge, it's, there's a lot of room, or, or you need a lot of room to showcase that. But this was 
a lot of fun to build. And as you can see, I put on the, um, I paint up the wheels because I just find that when you see this in action, it just looks so much more realistic with the, the way the tires are rolling. But there's a lot, there, there's a lot of weight to this. Um, but this trailer itself, I think it'll be great when I finally get a chance to pull it after I can finally finish getting the truck done. And here we have the tanker trailer. Now this one is the one of the biggest ones that uh, Tamiya produces. This thing weighs a ton. The entire thing is metal. Metal frame, uh, aluminum tank, aluminum top. Um, really, there's I, this really does weigh um, an incredible amount. But I also feel it's probably their most realistic North American trailer that they produce currently. I, I do know that I kind of hope that Tamiya starts coming out with some more trailers for the North American marketplace. There are a lot for the European marketplace. And there's another company called Carson in the UK that produces a lot of uh, trailers uh, and uh, yeah, m m trailers for the, the Tamiya Semi line. And so they've got a lot more choices. I find for North America, we only have a few. And the one that I would have loved to have had for the channel and that I would have built the way I do the build videos now is the box trailer. But I haven't been able to find it. It still says it's it's not available. Um, and it, I'm sure it used to be. I know it was when I, when I picked this one up. But I decided with this one, because this is, as far as I'm concerned, the piece de resistance, I wanted to really do it up. So you can see the back end, I've got the license plates, I've got the mud flaps, and yes, I have the girls on the back of the mud flaps because that's what I used to see as a kid as a um, driving down the five. Almost every semi has them, they still pretty much do. But I also wanted to put on the retractable uh, legs. So this one pretty much has everything on it that you can you can get. Now the only thing that I didn't do is I haven't deckled it. I couldn't decide what I wanted on the side of it. And honestly, when this this is like that stainless steel, when you, when you use the cloth to kind of get off all of the dust, I honestly am thinking I might not deckle it up with anything. I kind of like the um, just the the just the look of it as it is now. It doesn't need any decals. So this one here, I mean, this, the detail work on it. I mean, if I put this closer to camera, maybe you can see it. Just the, the piping, the, the, uh, the ladder frame, you can see on the top, you've got all the caps for all of the gas lines. Um, I just think this looks awesome. And I think down the line, I know um, Thomas from Western Sharpies, he does a lot of the other accessories that you can get for this, like the airline brakes, there's the, the uh, toolboxes down here. You've got also the pipelines that things would be hooked up to. He's got all of that sort of stuff. Maybe I'll even put a link to um, some of his work. It really is incredible. Um, and he's done uh, some of the trailer ones. Uh, I think he even took the, what is it, the, the, the European version of the box trailer from Tamiya, converted it into a longer version of what you'd see as a standard box trailer on the highways in the North American marketplace. But he completely redoes the back end. He's put different doors on the back. He's put a uh, different bumper on the back because even for us, our bumpers for these uh, models aren't really North American. We have a, what's called a Mansfield bar at the bottom. A lot of these don't. Um, but anyways, it's just so cool what he does. But these trailers, I mean, I this one here specifically, it's just the realism and I love things that are real. So that's another reason why I was really interested in building these trailers because the realism is in, incredible. So anyways, I wanted to show you these. and I do have a build video of this. Uh, I think I do it in different chunks. I don't do the, when I was building these, I hadn't quite figured out how I wanted to do build videos yet. So anyways, those are the three trailers that I have on the channel currently. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed having a bit of a showcase of these. And again, I, I wanted to show you because this one specifically was very important to me because it's the reason I'm continuing on with this channel today. 
So thank you very much for tuning in. Please like, subscribe. There's definitely going to be more content on the way. And if you have uh, uh, vehicles or things you want to see, let me know, email me. I'd be happy to uh, chat with you. And if you've got some issues with your own rigs that you need some help with, uh, I'm here. Let, let me know. Be happy to help. So until next time, we'll see you in another video.